everybody, and welcome back to my torture chamber, my dungeon, aka the garage. <laughs> so anyways, uh, the question for today, bench press versus dips. Now this is like an age old uh, competition between these two exercises, which one is better? And now I'm gonna give you my opinion on this. Uh, first of all, it, for starters, it really depends on what you're doing. Obviously, if you're a power lifter, you're going to want to practice the bench press because it's one of the three lifts that is judged in a powerlifting competition. But if you're not a power lifter, then I would suggest, I would suggest that you do dips. And here's why. I believe that dips is a superior exercise to the bench press. And in fact, the bench press is highly overrated. One, in the dips, in dips you have a much longer range of motion because you can dip really far down. Um, it just, it hits, it does everything the bench does, but better. <laughs> yes, this is highly opinionated, but the, the fact is it, it hits your triceps a lot harder and it hits your chest a lot harder. Now I'm gonna speak from experience here that from my own experiences doing dips, I've gone days after doing a heavy dip workout and my chest would be sore for days. I never experienced that with bench pressing, ever. I felt it in my chest, yes, but I never felt it as much in my chest as I did with dips. Um, dips are going to pack on tons of mass to your chest. Um, they're going to make your triceps huge. The only other thing I could think of why you would choose bench press over dips would be like, say you aren't able to do a dip even with your body weight yet. Um, and then that sense, yeah, okay, I, underst I could understand that. Then uh, do a light weight with the bench press, start even with just the bar, uh, do some reps and gradually increase the weight um, until you're strong enough to eventually do uh, dips. Another option, uh, especially this is mainly if you go to a public commercial gym because the odds of you having this or buying this would be very expensive. Um, but um, one of the dip assisted machines, it's very common in a gym. It's usually a part of a pull up assistance or a chin up assistance machine um, where you can, it'll, it'll take away some of the weight of your body weight um, and it, it allows you to do dips and do chins. Um, and actually, uh, I love those machines, by the way. Uh, and uh, I, that's actually how I was able to finally do full body weight chin-ups was with that assisted machine. So don't knock it. I'm not, I'm not judging anybody. I've used it myself and it works great. So if you want to start doing dips right away and you don't want to have to worry about building up enough strength to do one, um, and, you, and if you go to a commercial gym, check out the, the assisted machine where you can do dips and add a percentage of your body weight. Uh, the machine works great. Coming from personal experience, it really works. So yeah, uh, bench press versus dips. I would say dips all the way. Uh, you're going you're gonna to see much better results. You're going to feel better. Um, you know... It's one of those things where uh, the, the dips kind of get the, they kind of, they're underrated and they kind of take the back seat to the bench press because a lot of people are obsessed uh, with the bench press. There's a lot of hype over it. Um, but with dips, you can not only do your body weight, but you can also attach weights. When you get a, if you get a dipping belt, you can hook up weights to it. I've done dips with 100 plus pounds uh, for sets of five. I've done power. I've done power sets with dips. Dips are definitely a huge way. They're a huge mass builder. They're great for strength, uh, and you should definitely be doing dips if you're not already. And if you're not a power lifter, I would say um, go try dips out. You know, you might really love them a lot. Yeah, you're gonna get the same. You're gonna get the results that you're looking for from dips. If you're looking to build a big chest, um, build big arms, dips will definitely do it. Um, and if you're a power lifter, it's a great 
it's a great thing to do instead of benching on certain days. Like, I'm not saying to replace, if you're a powerlifter, obviously you can't replace the bench press. You have to still practice the bench press. But on some days, maybe instead of doing benching, do some heavy dips instead. And then maybe the other week, the next week, then go back to benching. Just food for thought. All right, that's it, guys. Bench press first dips. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what your preferences are. And I'm interested to know. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.